Hi, it's Adam. Here is I'm coming to you as always from the digital studios of Market Club, and today we're looking at the Dow. That's right, the Dow 30. It doesn't get a lot of play because, quite frankly, the S&P 500 is a lot more important. But I wanted to show you the Fibonacci rule and trends. This is a. I think traders would probably give a lot of praise to Fibonacci if they know how to use this tool. But here we are. We draw from the very top point right here to the very low point here. And, uh, so as you can see, we're counting the rally from the lows. And the first stage is right here. This is 7,085. Didn't make any difference. We got to the 38%. We saw a little pullback here, not very much. We got to the 50% level, little pullback. And we got to the 62%, 61.8% to be totally precise. And then we've seen a pullback. Now, once you get once you get into this area, this 50 to 61 point eight percent, this is like thin air. This is where the market's going to have problems, and this is based on a retracement level. I'm not sure why it works. I'm not sure anybody realizes how it works, but it it does seem to work consistently in the marketplace. So I'm taking everything off the screen. We'll zoom in a little bit and look at this a little closer. So just it's easy to do with the market. Just hit the zoom button. And you can see, well, as you can see, we got very, very close. I think we came within five points of this 8,081 target zone. And the market's turned down. And uh, we can give a little more credence to this, because if we just take this off and click on our daily triangles, you can see we had a signal today for further weakness coming into this market. Now, you're also seeing the MACD sort of roll over a little bit, sort of tending down like that, which could be a problem for this market in the future. Again, you've got, uh, we can put a trend line in here, so we can draw from this point here up to here. So you can see how, how important this level is going to be. If we should break through this level, we're going to see a retest of the lows around 6,600. And I think that's what everyone is sort of perhaps looking for or perhaps not looking for, uh, that will be the first indication that we may be starting to make a bottom in this market. But the key thing, what I wanted to show you today was the, obviously the Fibonacci levels. And as we point out here, they are, this is, this is the 38, 50, and the 61.8 percent corrections. If you can draw these lines in, with your own charts or with market club charts preferably, you'll see that this is where the markets tend to stop. Now what happens on the downside? Well we could take this off, everything off. We'll take our triangles off again and we'll scope this out just a little further. So then we can just take the tool off, just click here, and we're going to draw from the lows here. So there we are, we're exactly on what we wanted to target. So we could potentially, with our trade triangles, this is a daily one, so it's not as important as the weekly one, but you can see now we've gone to a 55% reading on this market. And what that means, even if you've never looked at our system before, we're going to tell you what it means through our talking chart technology. So just listen to this. I'm going to click on this button right here, and I'm going to give you an audio summary. This market has a negative 55% reading, indicating that it's moving into a trading range. We do not expect to see any big moves come out of this market in the very near term. It is time to move to the sidelines until a steady trend resumes for this market. So there you have it. That's the summary we're seeing on our audio file. It's kind of cool to have the audio file right here so you can listen to it as you want and it refers to of course our trade triangle technology and here's the 55 minus 55 reading so you've got your dailies are down your monthly is down and your weekly is still positive so when you have this kind of conflict between the monthly and the weekly it's best to stand aside but if you do want to trade, you may want to use a tool like the Fibonacci tool. It's a very cool tool, and it's available on Market Club just by clicking on this indicator right here. And it's very, very powerful. As you can see, it basically stopped this rally. The market reversed. So as I said earlier, if you get into this zone here, 
this 50 to 55 50 to 61.8 percent zone on a rally going up then you're going to see problems I believe now conversely we've written this so the market's going to come down and it potentially could come down all the way to this level here which is around 7,000 before you see some 7,086 at 30 to be precise before you see some more true reaction but I guess the action is going to be rather choppy indicated with a 55 percent reading and you're going to see some opportunities to trade this market so what we're looking for now is really for our weekly triangle this triangle here to turn red and that'll indicate that uh, should be read that way that'll indicate that the market has once again resumed going down and how we do that is very simple we can just take this off the screen take everything off the screen I can go up to our weekly charts and with our weekly charts we're really looking for a level I'm going to put the weekly triangles in here take the dailies off we're really looking for it would have to go potentially below this level here around the 7274 level for us to get very very negative um, so I think we're going to give this market some time the trend line is going to be very important to go through there but we've certainly looked like we've rounded out here on the fib fib number and I think we're going to see this market become more of a two-way street uh, with pressure on the downside so let's see how it works out Adam Hewison for Market Club thanks for stopping by and uh, every success in the future.